My dog is fancier than I am, for real. Nine, how do you do nine? Did you press record? What's up, sweeties? I'm Kara Lane, and I wanna thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about 20 facts that you probably did not know about me. And before we jump into it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Let's do it. Number one is that I am a Midwest girly. So I grew up in Indiana, born and raised. I went to Indiana University Bloomington to study undergrad. I had a concentration in marketing international business. So I really honed in on that Kelly School business mindset. Yeah, what can I say? Go Hoosiers. Two. I love, 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 love to write. Since I was a little girl, it's been like my thing. Poetry is like my favorite thing. It just like bounces off the page at me. Um, and it always has since I was like a little girl. And I feel like that's really what made me start my blog um, back in 2015 when I went to study abroad. Uh, I wanted to keep in contact with family and friends, but the truth is I just love to write and I love sharing my experiences with others. And I also love reading other people's experiences. So it just kind of, you know, one, two, three, it just adds up. Writing is my thing. Number three is I am a graduate student at Ball State University. I'm a low resident student, so I don't actually have to travel to campus at all. I've actually only been to campus like once since I've been in my program, which has been amazing. The program is called Emerging Media Design and Development. That's my concentration. And I mean, it just hits the nail on the head with mirroring my like creative mindset, my entrepreneurial mindset, and my marketing background. Four, I have a Bichon Freeze or Friche. Oh, what, what do we say? What, what do we call him? What, what is it? So I've never really known the correct pronunciation, but I call him a Bichon Friche or sometimes a Bichon Freeze. It just kind of, if I'm feeling fancy, you know what I'm saying? Cause I don't really know how to say it. My dog is fancier than I am for real. But yes, he is two years old. He is adorable and just full of so much love and life and cuddles and belly rubs. And yeah, he keeps me excited. And for now, he's my only fur baby. Five, I work in digital marketing in the agriculture and farming business. Prior to this, I've also worked in digital marketing in um, the insurance industry as well as the higher education industry. I've also explored things um, outside of just like the digital marketing space such as customer service and business development. Six, I am a Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated woman. I cross Spring 14 at Indiana University Tall Chapter and I have 20 other line sisters. So all together, there's 21 of us, 21 unforeseen. Shout out to my, my girls, okay? This is like simple as that, capital LS. Shout out to my girls. Number seven is that I absolutely love, love, love natural hair. It is one of my passions to just help other black women with coily, tight textured hair just feel beautiful in their skin and rocking their natural hair. I also because of how much i love natural hair i actually have a business called soul curly kit and it's so crazy and so full circle that i started that business because i can recall when i was very young my mom asked me what i wanted to be when i grew up and i said a hairstylist and the crazy thing is is like i wasn't wrong and i was all along like even though i got my business degree and that's like very different than being a hairstylist like I'm on that route to be in that space and to really make some really great changes in the natural hair market. Number eight, I am a foodie. Baby, if there's food, point me where to go because I'm going to be there, okay? And if you are curious to know what I be eating or what I be cooking or whatever be going on in the food realm, baby, go ahead and follow me on Instagram because that is where the action happens with the food. Number nine, I love self-help books. I think they are enlightening, informative, and I also think if you're going through a season of solitude, that's a great way to give yourself encouragement when maybe you're having a hard time encouraging yourself through it. 10, I am a Orange Theory fitness fanatic. I started going there because my line sisters put me on it and it's just a great way to challenge yourself physically. You're gonna be feeling good. You're gonna walk out of there like I did that. and. I love the feeling, so it keeps me coming back. Number 11, I love to cook. It is something that makes me feel so creative. I feel like being in the kitchen 
figuring out new spices for something, thinking about flavors that you could marry together and just make something taste phenomenal. This is my jam. I kind of at this point call myself and my husband also calls me his chef because I kind of am. That's like what I love to do. And lucky for him, he gets to try it. Number 12 is like a blast from the past. Color guard I did in high school and it was so much fun. I did rifle, saber and flag and dancing and I, I did the whole dang thing. I did all of it, okay? It was very challenging. It's probably the hardest thing I've ever committed myself to and I probably never got really as good as I probably could have or should have been at it, mainly because of my mindset. I'm not sure that I really believed that I was as good as I was, but um, if I was unstoppable, I might even still be doing it today. Yeah, that was really fun. I also ran track in middle school, did the 400 meter dash, that was a vibe. That was a vibe. Also did cheerleading and I played the violin from like second grade to high school is when I stopped. And oddly enough, I know everyone always says people who play instruments are so cool or I wish I would have learned how to play an instrument. But oddly enough, I learned how to play an instrument and it's one of those things I let go of that I have no regrets. I think moral of the story, what's for you is for you. And baby, you gonna know what's for you. Number 13, I am the youngest of my siblings. I have two older siblings, a brother and a sister. I definitely give off only <laughs> child vibes. It's because of the age gap. Number 14, I am a creative magnet. I literally have 346,000 ideas a day and it's slightly problematic because it's so hard to get myself to focus on one thing and to commit to one thing. But I will say that this channel is going to be the game changer for me and my creative mindset because now I have something that I can focus on and really pour into. Number 15, this is my favorite one. I'm a Christ follower. I just feel like my faith has become like a beacon in my life that I never thought it would be. There were points in my life where I had really not necessarily given up on my faith, but I just felt like me, I was over here and my faith was over here and I could never be like this with it. And to be in this space of like, I can say this and feel confident and secure and just like safe in the palm of Jesus, like that took a lot. And so again, I say all this for anyone who feels like faith is over here and you're over here, you can be here. They can be like this and it can be the thing that not only puts you like this with it, but pulls you up. And that has been my experience. And so that's gonna be an important part of this channel and it's a very, very important part of me. Number 16, I am a goofball. Like I am so silly and I don't even know if like my silliness always like comes out. I, I should work on that in this new year, making sure that my silliness and like my ability to not take life so seriously really is like projected in my everyday life. But uh, my husband always jokes with me and he says, you really don't know how to be serious. Like, and you also don't know the right times to be goofy. And he ain't wrong, I, I definitely don't. But I feel like there's no shame in that because life can be so serious and it's just fun to just laugh, even if it's a little dry. Number 17 is that I love to teach people how to do things and I feel like I get it honestly from my lineage. My grandmother was a teacher and my father was a teacher as, and still is. My hope is just like one day God gives me something so that I can water that gift and share knowledge with others. Number 18, your girl's a diva. Your girl loves to be a glam queen. Like that's just who I am. Um, you might see me on the gram, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be doing my inspo talk and that's like very casual, very authentic, no makeup. Sometimes the hair is not done. Sometimes the scarf is on. It's just real casual. But like when we're talking about, it's time to go take pretty photos, baby, she gonna show up. She gonna show up. It's time to get ready for the occasion. Oh baby, we finna step. So <laughs> just know that like you're gonna get glam. Number 19 is that I am an introverted extrovert. It is so easy as a introvert to get in front of a camera and talk versus, you know, getting into a room with people you don't know. I mean, 
crickets, okay? Sometimes it'd be crickets. And I get it, I definitely get it. And I definitely probably fall a little bit into that category. Um, but I will say that because I have this appearance that I'm extroverted, <laughs> that sometimes that works to my advantage when I'm in a room with people I don't know. Um, and maybe that's also like my business mind mindset is like, if you want to go to where you want to go, you're going to have to just like meet new people with different perspectives and just like open yourself up to the world. So I guess maybe my curiosity is what helps me be a little bit more extroverted than I actually am. And last but not least, number 20 is that I am the ultimate visionary. I am the ultimate dreamer. I am the person that you can share your big, crazy, scary dreams with, and I am gonna encourage you. I am definitely the person who is all about, you know, the positive vibes toward what it is that you really want from life. I'm all about it, and I feel like it's a lot of what keeps me going, keeps me inspired, and keeps me hopeful. So I hope you all enjoy this video of hearing about 20 random facts about me. Let me know what we have in common or, you know, it's okay. Let me know what we don't got in common. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just find those connection points. Let's get to know each other. And I just want to thank you all so much for joining me. So until next time, beautiful, keep life sweet and never stop feeding your soul. I love you so much, sweeties. See you next time.